Hi, I'm Joe Vartuli, RV Lifestyle Consultant here at Pete's RV Center in South Burlington, Vermont. We're on a nice sunny uh, August day. Uh, we're going to do a video for you today on the Forest River Cherokee and Grey Wolf product. Uh, it's a product that we've had this year that has been really popular. Uh, the price points are terrific. You can get into them for a lot of them for under the $20,000 range. There's a few models like this one that are a little bit over. Well, uh, me and Josh are in the, the 294 2016 Cherokee Limited. Uh, this is a double slide model. Uh, and you're going to see, if you look around to your right, Josh, a little bit, you'll see the big U-shaped dinette. Also, the nice uh, baseball stitch leather sofa that folds out to make a, uh, a scissor sofa to make another bed for you. Uh, once again, this table drops down and makes a very large bedding area. Uh, two adults pretty much can use this area as well. Uh, now, with the bunk beds in the back, you may not have a lot of use for it, but it is there if you need it. Some things you'll notice, uh, solid surface countertops. Okay. A uh, nice cherry stain on the woodwork. Rollerball bearing drawer glides, full extension that come all the way out. And residential looking faucets. Uh, even though the price point is lower, once again, residential style features. Lots of storage, deep cabinets that go all the way back in here through. Uh, one thing on the Cherokee as well, it does have what they call climate control. So the air conditioning system is ducted. It goes from one end to the other and you can set the temperature as you want either in a cold climate with your furnace or in, you know when it's hot the air conditioning system will will uh, you put it on the temperature you want it'll come and go as it needs to. Uh, no need to hot, high, cool, or medium, either with your heating system or your air conditioning system because it's climate controlled. Much, much easier to, to maintain, and it'll keep a nice, nice, even ambient temperature in here. Uh, something new they're doing with Forest River this year, at least with this, with this suburban cooktop, it is a glass-covered cooktop. It's, it's, it's all flush mount, and you have your three-burner range underneath here. So you're not losing any of that, but yet they put a nice, elegant cover over the top. Also, of course, your Magic Chef microwave in these. Uh, overhead uh, fan to pull, the, uh, to pull the moisture out when you're cooking. Two-way Norcold refrigerators are in these as well. And, and this unit here has a nice big pantry. You can see how deep it really is. And you'll find this in most of the Cherokees. They're, they're trying to give you as much storage as they can in the floor plans that they offer you. And once again, without stretching your budget. Uh, the blue accent lighting you can see over the, over the top of the slide out. Just gives it a little bit nicer look, a little more modern look. Uh, if we go around to the front a little bit before we go to the bunk area, Josh. You have the bedroom area here. You have two shirt wards. You'll notice they changed the wall boards a little different color back here. It's a little darker on the back part. It helps you with your sleeping in the evening. Also, you're going to notice cloth shades. Cloth nightshades that go up and down. Uh, your safety window is right there. That probably messed up the camera a little bit. But also hard doors. So your entertainment center is up here with the, uh, with the full wall. And also you have hard doors here that will shut the room right off. So it's very private. And we'll show them this front entertainment center. And there's a place to clip your TV on. These do not come with a flat screen, which you can... Uh, they are ready. They come with a mount that will mount right on the wall here. Your cable hookup and everything is right here. Your booster TV antenna too as well. Uh, AM, AM FM DVD player. That is built into the limited models. All right. And the flooring. Uh, you can see uh, it's got kind of a plank wood look. And this is a thick rubberized Congolium. So it's very cold weather crack resistant as well. And uh, stain release carpet. Uh, the Cherokee also gives you you notice how flush floor, there's not, it, the, this is not built up. So there's no step up into your slide out system. And big drawers that pull out from underneath your dinette. And make getting, make getting to, your, to the extra stuff that you bring very easy. Uh, you're gonna see wooden mini blinds in the living room here. They're not just using a, you know, a very low cost mini, uh, metal mini blind. Uh, they're using nice residential style wooden ones. And uh, hard, hard valances over your windows as well. And we're going to uh, go back to the bunk room in this unit because it does have the second slide. And you're going to see these two fold-out uh, small, small couches or, or seats, however you want to call them. They will fold out to make beds. So you could have one, two, three with your top bunk, which does fold up. 
and it will actually stay there. So if the you have a TV and entertainment center back here, there you go. <clears throat> they can sit and want to do a PlayStation. Your kids can do a PlayStation or or watch a movie, whatever they want to do on a rainy day. Also a big oversized bunk with a skylight over it. So you get some natural light back here. You have a built-in ladder to get to this bunk. And also storage. You have a place for the TV with the hookups here. And you also have tons of storage over here as well. So clothes, entertainment center, nice bright windows, uh, nice airy open feel to this, this 294 Cherokee. And we'll open up the, uh, the bathroom here for you. And you can see there's a second door to the outside. Your foot flush toilet is standard on these. You also have uh, your medicine cabinet is actually usable. And nice nickel plated poles here on the, uh, on, the on all the all the doors, so it's nice and sturdy. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll shut that. Once again, the construction underneath this floor, underneath the bow floor, is actually it's it's tongue and groove plywood, marine grade. So it's five eighths inches. It's very thick. There's not a lot of give. The trailer will last a long time. Between your thick floor decking and your nice thick roof decking, which is fully walkable, it gives you a nice sturdy built uh, travel trailer. Inside the Grey Wolf, uh, this is a 2016-23 uh, DBH. And folks, you want to talk about a great value for a young family that's starting out camping. Uh, this unit gives you large second, lar two large bunks in the back, uh, oversize. It gives you a slide out. It gives you all the power stuff we pointed to you outside, plus some of the neat features in. And you can notice you have a raised up dinette here. It's all U-shaped, uh, wooden blinds in behind it. You still have a place to get underneath your dinette, even with a Grey Wolf price point, uh, to slide your extra drinks in or whatever you need to close, blankets, whatever you need. Also, the, the bow-style flooring, the thick rubberized Congolium. Uh, you'll also notice in the in the galley here, you're not you're not losing anything with the Grey Wolf. You actually have solid surface countertops. You have the flush mount uh, glass uh, suburban cooktop. Excuse me. You have your Norcold gas electric refrigerator. Your Magic Chef microwave. This the same cabinetry as the Cherokee with the nickel the nickel poles on it. So you're not losing any of this in this price point. It just These are just a little bit more affordable, like I said, for the young families uh, that want to start out camping and have a little bit of extra room with slide outs. And this unit has the larger bunks. Now, all the Grey Wolves have these features. We just happen to be do demonstrating this one today. But, but the woodwork, the flooring, the countertops, uh, the stone in the front by the, uh, the entertainment center, the bedroom setups with the, the, the wardrobes, they all have that stuff. It's just we're in this floor plan today, okay? So I showed you, showed you the double bunks. Also in the bathroom, you have your, your foot flush toilet. Uh, skylight over your tub as well, which you will not see in these price points in almost any other brand. And a full medicine cabinet. And, uh, excuse me, this Great Wolf also has ducted AC. It all, it's all climate control, and here is the... Uh, Here's the control for it right here. You put it on furnace, you put it on AC. Whatever temperature you want, it'll come and go as you need it to. Once again, it makes your camping experience great. Uh, not a lot you have to play around with, just enjoy yourself. Uh, also, the, I didn't go over the wall board and the, uh, the, the floor, the, the wall board and the ceiling board. They are both vinyl. You can use a Windex or 409 on them or a good cleaner that's mild. You won't take any of the color off on it, okay? Uh, uh, Josh, show them both windows, a safety window on the bottom, and you have another skylight on top. So you get a lot of natural light in on these campers. And I'll go around to the front here. And, of course, your, your faux stone wall, a uh, place for your TV, all your cable and satellite hookups are all set to go. Your AM, FM, DVD system, which comes on the limited models. And, of course, your bedroom, once again, with your, your shirt wards on each side and nice deep cabinets over the top for, for more closed storage. Hard doors for privacy. 
All right, and they also give you a nice comforter on all the beds. And uh, that's kind of a quick overview of the inside of the Gray Wolf.